As a beginner, I can systemly make all mistakes when applying LARS to my video footage. I would click on the look option in the creative tab of the Lumity color panel and browse the folder that containing the LARS. Then I would apply each LART one by one to find the best one for my footage. It was a completely inefficient and time-consuming process. I believe some of you may have experienced the same mistake. If you are still making the same mistake, then this tutorial is for you. So in this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to input LARS in Premiere Pro and use them just like the default LARS. Simply click the drop-down menu and apply the LARS. Inside Premiere Pro, we have both Rec709 and Log footage on the timeline. Before installing the LARS, we can enable Lumity Color by navigating to the window menu at the top, then clicking on Lumity Color. After that, you see the Lumity Color tab on the right side of Premiere Pro. At the top, we have the Basic Correction tab, which is a fundamental section within the Lumity Color panel that allows you to make a primary color adjustment to your footage. Within the Input LART option, there are various technical LARS provided by Adobe. If you scroll down, you find the Creative tab located just below Basic Correction. The creative section in Lumity Color within Premiere Pro offers controls and adjustments to stylize your footage. Under the look option, you discover a variety of creative blurs provided by Adobe. However, for this tutorial, I have removed some of them. Alright, it's time to input blurs. Let me guide you through the steps to locate the folder for inputting blurs. The first method involves navigating through your PC's C drive. Head to Program Files, then Adobe, followed by Adobe Premiere Pro, Lumetri, and finally blurs. Inside this folder, you'll find three types, Creative, Legacy, and Technical. I'll explain them in a moment. Another easy way is to use the search option. Simply type Premiere Pro to find and right-click on the latest version you are using. Choose Open File Location, then right-click on Premiere Pro again, and select Open File Location once more. It's call upwards to locate the Lumity folder and double-click on it. Inside, you'll find the Lars folder. Open it to see three folders, Creative, Legacy, and Technical. Technical LARS are specialized for different cameras or formats like Sony or Blackmagic. They take log footage and adjust the color space or gamma curve to match standards like Rec709. These LARS ensure accuracy and consistency in color matching and calibration. They are handy for converting log footage to standard color spaces like Rec709. In Premiere Pro, you can access Technical LARS in the basic correction tab of the Lumity Color Panel. Creative LARS, also known as Stylized LARS. Change the look of your footage to create a specific style or mode, like cinematic or vintage. They tweak color, contrast, and more. You use them after basic color correction and can adjust their strength. In Premiere Pro, you can find them in the creative tab of the Lumity Color panel. Legacy LARS are older versions of lookup tables that were designed for previous camera models, color spaces, or display technologies. While these are still available for compatibility reasons, they might not provide the optical color or style adjustments for modern footage. Now let's import the technical LARS, start by accessing the technical folder. Inside this folder, you'll find some LARS already provided by Adobe. To import LARS, begin by navigating to the folder where we save the LARS we wanna use. Here you'll notice two separate folders, one for technical LARS and one for creative LARS. By the way, if you have all the LARS mixed together, you can separate them to identify technical LARS and creative LARS, examine their names and previews. Additionally, reading the description of the LARS can help you to understand their intent and purpose and how they affect the image. Technical LARS usually have names that indicate the input and output color spaces and gamma curves. On the other hand, creative LARS typically have a name suggesting a particular color or style. Navigate to the technical folder and copy all the LARS from the technical LARS folder. Use the shortcut Ctrl plus A to select all the LARS and Ctrl plus C to copy them. Next, return to the technical folder in Premiere Pro and paste the LARS. You can also use the shortcut Ctrl plus V. Then click continue to confirm the changes. Now you can see that all the technical LARS are directly linked to the basic correction in the Lumity Color tab inside Premiere Pro. After that, let's open the creative folder. It contains some default LARS provided by Adobe. To copy our LARS, navigate to the Creative LARS folder. Select all the LARS and copy them. Next, go to the Creative folder in Premiere Pro and paste them. After finishing the installation or input the LARS, we can now return to Premiere Pro. 
if we want to apply the creative blurs we have just installed but can't see them it is because after installation prima needs to be restart or reopen let's close prima pro first and then open it again now if we click on look in the creative tab we can see all the creative blurs if you want them to appear at the top of the list you can rename them by adding something like a as a prefix now let's select lock footage for color correction this footage is from a DJ Mavic drone, so we need a specific alert to convert it from lock to rack 709. Let's go to the basic correction and click the drop down menu. Here you can see two LARs from DJI. Since our footage is from Mavic, so we need to select this LART. If you want to download a specific LARs for your device such as DJI, Sony or Blackmagic, you can easily manage them through their websites. After completing the color correction, you can move on to the color grading phase. Apply the creative blurs to enhance the color. Click on the left or right arrow icons to find the best on for your footage. Let's choose another footage to apply a creative blur. Click on the drop down menu and choose the one that best suits the look you wanna bring to your footage. We can try the preview options for a quick search. To apply the LUT, click on the screens once. You can also adjust the intensity of your LUT by dragging this slider. That's all for today's tutorial on installing LUTs. I hope this tutorial helps you with LUTs installation and understanding their uses. You can watch other color correction and color grading tutorials on this channel. See you in the next tutorial.